exactly is it's going, going on. on like with this visa particularly from nigeria yeah well, hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel thank you for liking for subscribing if you've not subscribed you're wrong mm -hmm. please remember to subscribe yes remember to share and subscribe you know just push the channel forward yup yup <laughs> today we decided to test new surroundings yeah, our neighborhood right? We just had to do the video outside like okay let's do the video outside just for you know change of scenery yeah we can't do this in winter exactly i wanted to say <laughs> that like we are only in fact this is like a great opportunity yeah the weather allowed us because exactly you can't do this during winter it, even in summer on some days it's so windy and cold yeah on some if, days. we tried it the other day it was very windy was super windy. windy we had to go back inside, yeah so. and even if you want to do this outside during winter yeah you can't even be dressed like this uh, ever uh, anyway <laughs> <laughs> you see only our face <laughs> but anyway so, so today yeah. um essentially we want to you know there's this discussion we'll be having with people mm -hmm. especially people back home who are applying for visiting visas yeah like, there's been a lot of back and forth and issues so what exactly <sighs> is, is going, going on? on like with visiting visa particularly from nigeria yeah because by the time we break it down and we look at what is happening yeah. we realize that it seems nigeria's case is peculiar i think it's peculiar really because yeah. i mean if you start with the timeline mm -hmm. how long it takes when you apply for a visiting visa from nigeria how yep. long does it take right now um currently it takes almost two years um <laughs> it takes so, yeah. 500 and i think 18 days as of today if you check on um wow. ircc's website you wow. can check how long does it take just around 18 days yeah that's one year and 200 plus days that's, that's crazy that's a lot <laughs> that's i mean a lot. i think you'd have, you'd have forgotten <laughs> self that you applied for anything why would i mean so what whatever you are going to do yeah. without visiting no we'll, we'll pass in two years two years yeah, is too definitely long definitely you know? will pass in two years so it's but, um, crazy again i think you know when you compare this to some other countries you mm -hmm. start to wonder like what exactly is wrong with applications from nigeria yep. right Say for example now in Ghana, mm -hmm. it takes about what 203 days. Compared to our own, that is 518 days. Just it's, imagine. It's, how many days do we have in a year? 365, 365 days. So Ghana is not up to one year, it's but it's almost year. two years. And it's crazy. And you're like, so what? Okay, maybe a lot of Nigerians are applying, but I will shock you. If a lot of Nigerians are applying because of our population, then yeah. check out India. India, for instance, their own processing time for visiting visa is just 29 days. Let's Can you imagine? Month. Uh, approximately one month so they, and one they are year. more than us they are in the billions and they migrate a lot yeah know? as in i don't know <laughs> even like, look at the gap but in terms of i'm sure they received more applications from india than they I do from I nigeria right so because those guys they are in, in the billions oh, please, they are, and they, they, they migrate year. a lot they're everywhere so us is yeah <laughs> two years compared to one month is i mean it's crazy that's that's a lot even um south africa is 116 days south africa is 116 days so, yeah but again you begin to wonder you see that trend with african countries right it's like higher, right? yeah the numbers of days are super lengthy mm -hmm. for african countries so even though india Maybe is not african country, files on time, but you know i don't know but anyway that was just you know by the way again this is just on paper right mm -hmm. now the practicality of things itself the truth of the matter is that your application from nigeria might not necessarily take up to that, 500 yeah 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 it might not be something this is the average yeah so the average not time it may not because we know people who um this up i actually know someone like mm -hmm. family for me Whose visa came out in one month? <laughs> yeah, during this same timeline, I mean, came out in one month. That's right? just amazing. And right? I have a tip for you, you know, in that regard. Maybe towards the end of the video. But, yeah, yeah. And so I mean, just like I, I, I know of someone too who applied, mm -hmm. and you know they applied at a certain period in time, mm -hmm. and it took it took about seven months for IRCC to even work on the file to even open it. And when they finally opened it, uh, guess what? They denied. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine that yeah. after seven months which also leads back to you know doing your own findings very well when you are putting in this application absolutely, because absolutely. The, no, the my, no matter how minute mm -hmm. you know the, the mistake is or whatever is they will just deny you and imagine how they will waiting for that long only to get a denial at the, end the number of the one day. thing they want to know is that are you going to go back yeah so everything in your application that supports the fact that you are going back yeah that you have a job letter from your place of work yeah your pay sleep yeah everything everything that shows that, that i'm going course. to leave your country yeah that's, if not they would deny the person that's and this is yeah. what we always tell people right like you can't compare yourself to an older person mm -hmm. say let's say somebody who is in the 60s or 65 yeah. 
coming here on a visiting visa, they mm -hmm. don't even necessarily need to put their own financial statement yeah, because in the application. They are old now. It's but if you are younger, mm. right, then you they need know, to uh, do your due diligence. Uh, they know offer checking, offer jack, but person wants to run away. So you cannot put your papers together the way you would do for a 60 something year old person. The officials will not look at it, you know, like you have to do your due diligence if you are younger. Anyway, so back to my story. Mm -hmm. So when they deny the, this uh, uh, family, Abi, these people, Sha, yeah. they reapplied again. Now, you, you guys will not even believe it. Now, they reapplied, they applied first in April, mm -hmm. and then they got denied. Yep. And that was like around uh, November. Mm -hmm. Just imagine. Then, they re then when they were denied, they reapplied again in that same November. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that you did? That just has not worked on that fight. Mm -hmm. That November fight. Yep. And just because time was, you know, time was going, then they put in another application, application. again, <laughs> making what the third application. Now, if you are following me, the third application oh sometime around February, and you won't believe it. And that one took just about what, maybe like four months. Four months, yeah. And the answer. Yeah. So, so that's what people are doing again. Like when you submit an application, I said they take you forever, you and you submit another, another one, one again. So because. Maybe the one you just submitted will be top of mind for them. Yeah. And I said I was going to give you a tip. Apart from what we said about you know making them understand they are going back. Yeah. One other thing is that when you apply for visiting visa, at mm -hmm. least from what we've seen and the people we've discussed with over yeah. here, if you apply when students are applying, oh, for, forget your file for you know study visa. Oh, please. they will not really <laughs> attend to you. They ah, will, because they make money much more money from you know. Yeah, they visa. focus so on the students. They focus on the students. So if you apply after. The, ma the major the major session is i think september october yeah so if you apply after september october november december oh mm -hmm. boy you are likely it's not certain well, no. yeah it's not, no guarantees no but guarantees. you are like your file is likely to be attended to so, as we say for even that, january for every year seven days mm. eight days yeah. one week two weeks exactly. three weeks if you apply within that time frame yeah. so sometime around november december january february mm. march at the, at the latest mm. or at the is it latest well, at the latest yeah march anything yeah. from april students are already the, coming yeah in, students are it. already applying for students. Uh, so they will no, focus yeah, on those ones. yeah and this is escalated by the fact that they have a lot of backlog you know mm -hmm. yeah i can't believe we're talking about this but during the covid, COVID yeah. they didn't do anything mm. like all files were just you know submitted line follow. and lying follow so that backlog is so serious that I don't think they have enough resources to focus on student visa and, and visitor yeah, visa at the same time. And so they are trying forms to, of mm, applications because there's still spousal. Yeah, there's spousal, the, work permits, work permit, 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 this you know, one. And, so. and you know, Canada is a very gracious country. Yeah. Imagine with this Ukraine, whatever that is going on. Mm -hmm. There's even another part where they've created yeah, for those Yeah, they created now. for Afghanistan too uh -huh. last year. If they have family here, yep. and you know, if they have family in canada here mm -hmm. and you have somebody in ukraine that person can come in based on the fact that you, uh, the person has family here in canada yeah. as a pro so i mean they are still going to dedicate resources to process those applications as well you know it's just so pretty much yeah it's it's it's, it's something to yeah. think about it's something for you to understand yeah because if you think maybe for instance your you have a sibling that is maybe doing graduation <laughs> or whatever it is and you're like ah i will apply for visa visa so well, they can attend your graduation oh ah uh, josie no because <laughs> by then they give if they eventually give you the visa so by then they, they give you that's that your that got sibling <laughs> maybe he's already 50 years old <laughs> and you know it's retired already so yeah. those are the things for you to consider yeah so but I mean, really it's it's it's, it's there's a lot of questions. Yeah, you know, a lot and of questions around. aside from the questions, it yeah. just takes a lot of planning. Yeah, so, I mean to basically summarize the things that we've been talking about, mm -hmm. the things to focus on when you want to apply for a visiting yep. visa, yep. coming here, mm -hmm. and especially if you're coming from Nigeria. Yep. So this is like in relation to the long timeline. Super long, almost now, two years. <laughs> one, do your due diligence and make sure that your application is complete. Accurate, you know, accurate. like math, like math said, they will say math said, they will say complete and accurate. Let it be accurate. On you point, coming story. in as a young person, yeah. support your application with things that would make them understand that yeah, going I'm back. going back, right? Mm -hmm. Because it would be so disastrous for you to wait for that long, for, only for them yeah, to not deny I've you. Seen that happen, right? It's not that's not that's not nice, right? Mm. So that's one. Make sure that you do your due diligence and your application is complete. 
Yep. You know, it's better for somebody who, even if the application is not complete and they quickly treat your file yep. and they deny you, then you can quickly exactly. reapply, make the correction. But because it takes forever. <laughs> it takes forever. Then you're not going to start again from square one. Yeah. Yes, that's not the best, right? Yeah. So do your due, due diligence. Mm -hmm. Then number two, strategize, yeah. right? We've talked about the timelines that are or the periods mm. when you can apply that you know your your application has a higher probability of being attended to on time mm. to give a recap of that you want to apply sometime around what november december, december january, january february, february march yeah, at the latest mm. right anything from that point onwards again there's not it's not cast yeah, because we'll be recall we said somebody applied in february and even when we anticipate anticipating they did not attend to the far after you know, four on the other four months after. Yep. But I will take that. Uh, I will take over, over seven <laughs> months, eight months. Uh, I take that five months, months, right? This. So it's that's difficult. another thing. Yep. Just plan, the strategize, the timing is also very important. Very, very true. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, that's just it, right? You know, visiting Visa Canada takes yeah. forever. You're like, is it worth it? But if you can strategize and use some of these tips, maybe yeah. just maybe you'll be lucky. Yeah, and that's maybe. it from us. Yeah, so that's it from us today, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for you know always tuning in and always um what do I say now supporting us yeah. basically and enjoy our scenery. We decided to bring you guys outside today okay, because we'll, the weather permitted it. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed you know the, the scenery and all. So again, of course, we'll be back again next time. Same channel, same station. I want this space. Same station, same station, same channel. Don't change it. Don't change it down. Don't change it. Down. You know? change it Don't change it Anyway, so pretty much that. We'll see you guys again in our next video. Okay. Bye. Bye.